Hello again guys and welcome back to Train Sim TV. Today we are going to be having a look at part two of the Welsh Marches Line um first look video. Um this is following on from uh, the first half from Newport to Hereford. On this part we're gonna be having a run from Hereford all the way up to Shrewsbury. So on this one we're gonna be calling at um Lemster, Ludlow, Craven Arms, Church Stretton and Shrewsbury. Uh, where there will be a crew change uh, and again this is the second half of that scenario so um this is the day after actually i'm recording now i've recorded it over two days this video um so yeah we're gonna get straight into this one and uh get, get going um if you want to watch part one you will be able to click the link it should pop up in the right hand corner um if it does happy days if you've not watched that thank you very much for going to have a look and then obviously this one also so let's get ourselves on these doors open. It's our TCMS up uh, and we are on 1134. So we're we'll we're ready to go. Alright, we're good to go. So again, on this video, like the first part, um, things changed were stuff like the Class 1752's AP Sounds version, um, Classic 60s as well have been swapped so they have the right sounds rather than default. Um, that's it really, on this one. Uh, there's no HSTs on this part of the scenario. It's 40 mile an hour out of um, Hereford. I'm going to refer back to my rail atlas once again. I think it was page 32 of my book. Just so we get the right places and stuff like that, just so I know my bearings. So the signing on our left as we left um, Hereford was the Moorfields Midlands Electricity and Mo uh, Bulmer's Works, Scottish Newcastle. Um, those are disused. There's some works and all that down there. Up to 75 miles per hour now, guys. <coughs> <coughs> Apologies for the cough. So we're going to go via Shellwick Junction. And straight up to 90 in a moment as we come up to Shellwick Junction. So, Shellwick Junction, this junction onto the right here takes you towards Great Malvern and on beyond.
go via Morton and Lug as well, uh, 1.7 miles. That's the Tarmac Stone Terminal. And the sun's coming up now on this part of the video, so it's looking quite nice now. The early morning scenes. It's only 5.50 in the morning, but it should be nearly quarter to seven when we get to uh, Shrewsbury. Drop down 75 mile an hour just before Morton and Lug. Lose a little bit of speed there. Got some more lovely lower quadrants than before signalling here. This is Morton and Lug on the left here. And we're going to be calling it Lemster next in 7.97 miles. So look at the turbo. Decent size. Is it loophole? No, it doesn't. It goes all the way down there. It's nice that they've had these nice long terminals in. It's cool. Someone's caught my eye there. Oh no, it, it just, it, oh, it's floating, it is floating. Level crossing on. It looked like it was wonky. It's slightly floating a little bit, never mind. I've had that little train in uh, world bug where the, the level crossing barrier sort of like stopped halfway and didn't actually fully close. <laughs> Quite a lot of crossings on this section of the route. Already have crossed quite a few. Even on the first part, there were quite a few level crossings. <coughs> a lot of full crossings as well. Oh, this a little bit where it's a bit raised up. This reminds me a bit of um, South Wales Coastal, where you go into the tunnels before, um, like, I can't remember what it is. <laughs> but um, it reminds me of that part of that route. <coughs> Somewhere near the Seven Tunnel. Down to 65 for a short, uh, brief period. Mm -hmm. 
Compared to part one, this one's actually changed to a, um, a standard scenario where the other one never, actually never changed over and that actually told it to. It's weird. Although we didn't do too bad on the points in that career one. We're back up to 80 miles an hour now and we're just under 4 miles to Lemster. So the tunnels we went through a minute ago were the Dinmore tunnels, um, just before Lemster Station. Again, so far in part two of the run, it's a lovely route. It's captured very nicely. There's nothing really at all that sticks out to be wrong or done badly. It, it, for, the fir for their first route, I'm, I'm astonished. It's really, really good. Um, they've done a good job of it. I'm not too sure if Ben's ever done route building in the past when he worked for DTG. I'm not sure if it was just done like doing like trains and stuff like that, and locos and wagons and stuff. But um, <coughs> if this is his very, very first attempt at doing root building, he's done a va fantastic job. People like us back there. Sort of slowing down now for Lemster. I'd like to know how long he spent making this route. I can't remember if he told us one in the um, live stream they did on YouTube a bit about. I'm not sure if it was a couple of years or not. <coughs> I mean, if he's been doing it on his own, that's fair play. I mean, obviously, they do they do low codes in between as well. So if he's uh, been going backwards and forwards between projects, it's understandable if it's taken him so long. <coughs> it's nice to see it's not been rushed. <coughs> I have one little gripe though, is that. You've got all these sem uh, these lovely semaphores and stuff, but custom signal boxes, surely they could have been maybe looked at rather than overlooked. I mean, fair enough, they've put name plates and stuff like that, ID plates onto these boxes, but I was still thought that when, you, when you're going through a full-on out route like this, with everything, surely they could have maybe put a little bit of uh, extra money or something, uh, attention to detail into the, uh, the boxes. It goes back to the DTG Southampton Bournemouth route where they did that really, really bad hash signal box at um, Bournemouth Station. <coughs> I just think, it, fair enough, back in 10 years ago when route building was still quite an early thing for DLC where you didn't get loads of custom assets, where, whereas now and today you, you would expect it in, the, in today's standards to see custom signal boxes throughout, just to make your route stand out that little bit more as well. I think they're one of the main characteristics on a route is a good signal box. <coughs> Especially when you've got this lovely custom station after it. I won't go on about it too much, but it's just one of my little pet hates. I'm going to 
Lamster Station. The lobster card, not the oyster, it's the lobster. I like that. <laughs> Let's go with their new, new plant planters. Nice station, I'm going to get this little walkway, that's quite cool. A lot of people probably just cap that off, but well, that's actually got a walkway. I like the blue and, blue and white Ariva paint in there, it looks cool. Wall art. That fencing on the back of this as well. Stations are lovely, I cannot fault the stations at all. Really nicely done. Next stop is Ludlow at 610. <coughs> Go by at Wooferton up main in five miles. We're all up through this countryside. I'm just, I'm just letting you guys enjoy it as well. And I'm not, I'm not rambling on through this full video because I want you guys to take the whole experience in and see it for yourself. I just pick up on a few bits and pieces along the way. But again, lovely run. I fully recommend that you do look into it. Can't fault the track work either. The track work is uh, very good. 
haven't really noticed any rough patches. Wooferton is just on its uh, way in now. Bridge there. Possibly was an old railway or something. Might have just been a, an access bridge, I'm not too sure. <coughs> Ludlow is just uh, just over four miles away as well. I like they've populated all the fields and stuff with sheep as well and wildlife fo uh, foliage, foliage plants, um, livestock. It's nice, nice little touch. Drop down to 80 mile an hour in about a mile. So just before Ludlow as well, we have Ludlow Tunnel. Just before the station. Spike there. We're just a mile to Ludlow now, so we'll start slowing down for this.
Excuse me. So the low tunnel is just coming up into the uh, in the uh, distance over there now. So we bend into the station. The station's just point two of a mile away, so it's literally beyond the tunnel. Not a long tunnel, but literally the station is at the end. Have a look around Ludlow while the doors are open. Nice footbridge. I like this as well, this entrance. It's like a waiting room ticket office or something there. Nice detail on doors as well. Yeah, very nice, I like that. <coughs> Next stop is Craven Arms at 6.19, so that's about 8 minutes away from here. 7 miles, uh, 7.6 miles to be exact. We're in 80 mile an hour section at the minute, we're going back up to 85 in a sec. <laughs> Looking like we're a little bit earlier as well, the Craven Arms. It's saying ETA has 18 minutes past the minute, so that's good. <coughs> so, looking at the map currently, we are just over here. We've still got a section left to do, about 30 minutes of driving. About half an hour into this scenario, it is an hour long. This one, 
So the run overall would be an hour and 55 minutes, um, approximately from Newport to uh, Shrewsbury. Race course there as well, too, right? Oh, got some stand. I like that, that's ace. Again, that signal box is creeping up. BD. <coughs> That's my main one, is just them signal boxes, I don't like them. <coughs> oh, that semaphore. I love all the different variants that they've added. Different platforms on them and stuff. Back down to 75 miles per hour. <coughs> but we do climb back up to 90 miles per hour in a mile and a half. In terms of um, sidings and stuff, we actually haven't got anything now until we get to just before Shrewsbury. We have um, Baston Hill tarmac uh, sidings. Oh, that signal box is creeping up again. No. To close my eyes when I see that signal box. Craven Arms is just a mile and four away. <coughs> Wish I could rotate this um, towel. Like. Pain in the backside. I may even be tempted to be fair. <laughs> to even have another reinstall. It always seems to do, it does. It always seems to do a bit of uh, help. Although it does, um, it does come back again. It's one of these things you can just never get rid of. Sadly. Wish they could find a way to eradicate themselves at DTG. To be honest, so I bet they could if the um, if it was where they could update the software and the engine. Well, I highly doubt they will. I mean, I think we were lucky to see for the uh, 32 bit to 64 bit climb. Massively lucky. One day my cold will go.
Craven Arms is just approaching now, 0.3 of a mile. So that line that came in on the left there, it, you can actually get to Carmarvin from that route. don't know, actually know which line it's called. I'm trying to look at my atlas and trying to figure it out. And it does go to Fishguard as well and uh, Milford Haven. The South Wales main line, is it? Big massive maze of tracks on the Wales network. <coughs> Not very well genned up on it. All I'm doing is following the line on the map and just trying to work out where they go to. Next stop is Church Stretton at 6.28, so eight minutes from here. Seem to have quite a nice smooth animation on it. What's this one like? Yeah. Did that have a, a custom signal box there? Were my eyes deceiving me? Oh my god, it has a custom. Then again, you couldn't really use that little Brit one for Craven Arms, could you? When you look at it, that's quite a different. Uh, that, that sign's floating a little bit off the side. I'm not sure if that's meant to be like that. And the problem is, you can see the back of it, it's, it's see through. It's quite a different box, that. No, you, couldn't, you couldn't fudge that. I like that, it's nice. It's nice that they've done some of the crossing boxes, that's good. Fair play. <coughs> I just would love to see the other ones done as customs. <coughs> I do understand the commercial side of things, of course, but. Also, I do I do see that it could it could have been done. Especially if I, if I was doing a custom payware route, I would definitely do my bit to make sure I had all the custom signal boxes because they, as they they are like one of the ma main features on the online is signal boxes. They all have their own little uh, quirks and details to them.
We've got a bit of a climb at the minute. We're just struggling to get to speed. <coughs> just creeping up to 61 miles per hour. We're going to drop down to 80 mile out, but to be fair, we ain't going to worry about that. We can't even get to 80 mile out yet. Just under three and a half miles to go to, um, to Church Street, not Craven Hospital, it's been there. Um, overall now to Shrewsbury, it is 16 miles. The last station before Shrewsbury is Church Stretton. Uh, we're going to go via Dorrington, Up Main and uh, Sutton Bridge Junction. semaphores yesterday on the other video had a very like delayed drop and they sort of like stopped and went as they came down they weren't very smooth so they seem to be alright maybe it was just uh, TS having a moment I like this section of the route <laughs> proper like twists and turns into the bends and storming along now <coughs> Oh. I was in my own little world then. I've, I've totally missed Church Stretton. <laughs> <coughs> Apologies for that, guys. I forgot to pick up the passenger at Church Stretton. Better luck next time. I have failed a scenario. We'll, we'll just glaze over that. What I'll do is I'll just knock it down for a minute. Just so we're not getting too ahead of our time. What we'll do is we'll have a look as well at Church Trenton, at least. Just pop 
saw something in the field. No, I'm seeing things. So again, it's a um, normal lofty platform by lots of it, but they put like new textures on it. I don't know if they retouched these platforms or not. I could be wrong. They could be the actual. They could be custom. <coughs> but I just think they have the the loft look about them. They just put all the bits and pieces on. Church straight in the heart of Shropshire Hills, area of outstanding natural beauty. I like these signs. These signs are a little bit different. Who bespoke? I would put the actual station names on the BR post signs. So a lot of routes sometimes just have a blank post. Platform for services to Shrewsbury and Chester. So I like these signs, these are lovely. You don't see enough of these on routes. We've got one on the other side. Yep. To Hereford and Cardiff. Height above sea level is 613 feet, latitude 52, 32, longitude 248, real noon 11 min, 12 seconds later than Greenwich. Ah, oh, that's cool. Very nice. It's a shame we didn't stop. <laughs> anyway, TSTV for you. Sometimes we make a boo boo. <coughs> <coughs> We better not miss Shrewsbury. Eleven miles to Shrewsbury now. Bless me. God. I'm really not well. Oh, we're back up to 90 miles per hour now.
going up to Dorrington, up main now as well. We'll drop down to 70 mile an hour and then back up to 85 just at the uh, Dorrington uh, point on the map. <coughs> Go for a screenshot as well shortly for the video. We'll probably end up doing that around the big box at uh, Shrewsbury. A bit more of an iconic box there. A massive iconic box, really. Like the Chirk log flow. Backland Bay. It's so strange to see a mixture of upper quadrants and lower quadrants on the route. That box has popped up again, triggered. <laughs> again as well, compared to the first video, when you go over the points, well you notice it, it rocks around. The, obviously the, the the numbers and the track settings to make the uh, unevenness has been raised up considerably on the points. So you do get that sense of crossing over point work. <coughs> it's a nice little touch to do that. Next up is uh, we're going via Sutton Bridge Junction. So on the way into Shrewsbury, the way it, it comes up on my map is Sutton Bridge Junction is first, then we have Colham City Plant Depot, then we have English Bridge Junction, um, which was on the right. Uh, I'm not actually sure if that is there or not. I think it's, it must be there if it's on my map. Yeah, it is. It's that curve there. Um, then we have Seven Bridge Junction, and then um, Shrewsbury Station. So Baston Hill, um, Tarmac, I do believe is somewhere around here. I'm not sure if it's this place on the right actually. If there's a if it's a yard join off, this is it. Possibly it might be a little bit further, just have a look on my map. Whether it's included, it might not even be included actually. It might have actually been taken out. I'm not too sure. Unless it's further up, but to me that looks like it could have been uh, it. It's before Sutton Bridge Junction, so that most likely was it. <coughs> On my map, it, it does actually show it up as a connected, but it usually says disused if it's actually being disconnected. We're going to slow down to 30 mile an hour as well at the moment at the Sutton Bridge Junction. As we are now approaching Shrewsbury. We've got the football ground here on the right hand side as well.
football pitch. Nicely done. Got some lag here. It's obviously loading in the whole of uh, Shrewsbury at the minute. To slow down to 30 miles per hour as well. Sutton Bridge Junction. So trains um, to places such as Barmouth come in from this line. You've got Aberystwyth um, as well. Got a numerous amount of um, heritage railways. They've got the Vale of Radol Railway as well. You've also got the Welsh Pool um, and Lanfair Light Railway as well on, this, on that section. This is the depot on the left here as well. I like this little. Um, like that. It's quite cool. Some springs as well. Got the fueling point. Down to 15 miles per hour in a minute. And we'll uh, we'll have a look around Shrewsbury and we will get a, a screenshot alongside the box. Down to 15 miles per hour. The box is just coming into sight now. So this is England Bridge Junction. No signals before the station. We did have a single yellow. position to get it all in. It's probably more looking like the one. Not too sure about that. Might get the better one on the station. It's a bit of an awkward place, the box. this into 4B. finish up here. Let's see if we can get another screenshot. It's a bit dark here.
I do like that box, that's lovely. Seven Bridge Junction. Huge, absolutely huge box. Imagine working this back in its heyday. Interesting footpath, I'm not really sure about it. It's a bit. a little bit messy in some places, but oh, never mind. It's not too bad, it does the job. It's not actually that, no, it's not too bad actually. Just little bits where the joints come in. <laughs> Very nice though. Let's we'll see where the routes go off here. So 41, that takes you. So that line I, I think takes you towards Birmingham. I'm just trying to read off my map here. Looks like it does. Yeah, Birmingham that way. So Wolverhampton it joins back onto the um and then goes down to Birmingham. And that's one. And you've got another set of junctions here. So let me just go to number 51. I want to get this right. I don't want to just make it up. So 51 takes you on to uh, crew in that direction. And then if you head north, it takes you to uh, Wrexham and then onwards to Chester. Cool. Let's see if they got extended. <coughs> Another box there. Another custom. I like that on the back where it's all like bricked up in that. That's cool. Loads of semaphores. Look at these little ones with all these theatre boxes. Very cool. <coughs> Excuse me. The station is lovely. Absolutely fantastic. I couldn't fault that at all. Got the town as well. I do believe that that's a prison. Very nicely done that. Oh, look at the castle there as well. It's nice. And I do assume that this is the River Seven, maybe? I'm not too sure if that's the River Seven. I'm trying to work things out here. Doesn't say on my map. I'm probably wrong with that. Just with the Seven Bridge Junction. To me, that says it's River Seven. <laughs> if if I'm wrong, please do correct me, guys, in the uh, in the comments below. I like this walkway as well, and nice detail on the brickwork there. Must have took an absolute age to sort all that out. Again, more upper quads. They're cool. Very smart. There's loads of different signals. Absolute loads of them. Really nice, and they do make the route as well a little bit more ex extra and special. Um, yeah, so a massive uh, hats off to Bossman Games with this one. They've done an absolute blind with it um, for their first route. Um, I do fully recommend this product, guys. Um, do head over to the links uh, to Steam and go and pick up your copy. Um, so, I'm going to leave you with it there. Um, thank you ever so much, guys, for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget, you can like, share, subscribe, leave a comment uh, below. We do like the feedback, so we can actually uh, we can take it on board and better the channel for the future. Um, don't forget, you can follow myself and Mark on Twitch at www.twitch.tv forward slash trainsimtv underscore Tom or www.twitch.tv forward slash trainsimtv underscore Mark. Myself on uh, Tom's channel is always uh, on each week um, Wednesdays, Thursday, uh, Wednesdays, Friday sorry, not Wednesdays, Thursdays um, with an occasional possible extra on a, on a weekend uh, if time permits um, so it would be great to see you over there um, you can follow us on our Facebook as well as if all the links are below um, and obviously the link to Root is there in the description so thank you very much for joining us guys, we'll see you later on, take care